Well, hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? This is the S. Anthony Thomas. This is the S. Anthony Says Podcast. I'm back. This is episode number 375. 375. Oh, you daggone right. I'm back, baby. Oh, yeah. Have you ever just had one of those really weird experiences? A weird week where things just weird things keep happening to you and if you tell people about them they wouldn't believe you they may believe you if these things were spread out over a long extended period of time but they don't believe you because they don't think those occurrences can happen in such a short period of time well i'm going to tell you about one of those and i'm going to save some of the other ones for other podcasts or maybe i'll tell you about them here it all depends (laughs) it's my podcast i'll tell you what i want that now but now sit down okay actually a lot of you are driving in your car so you're, you're already sitting down i would i would hope you're not standing in your car because that could be uncomfortable <laughs> now to the show <laughs> all right now everybody knows when you go someplace a lot of times you know it doesn't depend doesn't really matter what it is it could be a newsstand supermarket it could be the gym it could be your office it could be any place where you go regularly and for an extended period of time essentially that place the people at that place kind of become like a family to you right they become like a family to you Right. So I I go to the same supermarket for most of the time. And I told you about Granny Sweetbutt. There were some other ladies. And for those of you that don't know who Granny Sweetbutt is, it's someone I've talked about in this podcast many times. Go back and listen to old episodes, new people, old people. You know who I'm talking about. So I'll continue. And I already told you that Granny Sweetbutt is gone. And when I go back to the supermarket, there were some other people that I was friendly with and they are now gone. So now all of a sudden. You know, you have like an empty nest syndrome type thing going on, right? You know, I don't have any children, but imagine if you have kids and you're used to them being there all the time and all of a sudden they grow up and not only do they grow up, they go, they go to college and after college, they don't come and live anywhere near where you live. They're long gone. Yeah, you get your phone calls, you get your quick Skype messages and they show up on Christmas and crap like that, but basically they dump you. They don't not love you. They just went off and lived their lives. That's just the way it is. And I felt that empty nest syndrome at the supermarket because now I don't know any of these people. Oh no. And I really am sorry that Granny Sweetbutt is gone. <sighs> anyway. So one of the places where I where I go regularly is a newsstand. And it's a newsstand that is half newsstand, half hot dog place. You know they have you know, it's a, he has he, he has like hot donuts, newspapers, obviously. You know, they sell hot dogs and sausages and coffee, that kind of thing. And the same group of people go there all the time, all the time, right? So we become kind of like a family. And what that means is when you go there, you don't just go in there, grab what you want to grab. You go there, grab what you want to grab. And at the same time, you're having conversations with the people that are there. Hey, Bill, how's the kid? Hey, Susie, how's the blue? Hey, Frank, how's the blue? Hey, Margaret, how's the big get the bucket, the bucket, and all of that crap. Well, on this particular day, two police officers walk into the building, right? And nobody thinks much of it. You know, they, they're they trying their best not to snicker because this place sells donuts and two police officers just walked in. And I'm going, uh, please, guys, don't do any donut jokes. Please don't do it. Hey, hey, I'm, I guess you guys, I'm, I'm not so shocked to see you two here. <laughs> and of course, both police officers look at him going, hey, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> But there's something unique about these two police officers. They're both ladies, which I haven't seen in this neighborhood. I mean, I've seen uh, when they have one guy, one lady, but I haven't seen one, two ladies in the same car. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, a cop is a cop. If you can do the job, you can do the job. But this is, it just hasn't had, just haven't, hadn't seen it. Also, both of them were, were like, um, how can I put this? The people that I was with started to have conversations under their breath, but loud enough for you to hear it, where they were literally shocked by how attractive both of these ladies in uniform were. And they were un- they were really, really, really good looking women. Right. And you hear guys in the background saying all kinds of sexist stuff. And 
shoot, I don't even know why. I mean, if you look like that, I don't know why you're going to waste your time being a cop with a body like that. Girl up there looking all fine. Both of them girls are fine. Both of them girls fine as hell. Both of them girls look good, pretty in the face, body slamming and all that, man. Phew, man. Arrest me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but lock me up. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, shoot. <laughs> I, I'm saying, you, 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 you put me on the ground. I'll be like, I ain't trying to get up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Arrest me. <laughs> Pepper spray me, girl. Tase me, girl. You know, all that kind of stupid crap, right? And the ladies are just hanging out, just doing their thing. And they actually just came in to buy a couple of things, chill for a couple of minutes. And I'm talking to the guy who owns the place, and I know him, and I know his son, and I know his family. We're talking, hey, blah, 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 blah. And the ladies joining on the conversation, and we're all laughing and joking, ha, 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 ha. And one of the ladies and I are talking, and we're having a great time back and forth, ha, 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 ha. She's saying things, I'm saying things, we're laughing and joking, ha, 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 ha. Enjoying each other's company, right? Our partners on the other side of the place, looking through the magazines and everything like that, right? And she's walking away and I said, okay, take care. She's walking away. She looks back at me and she smiles. And I'm thinking she's smiling because I said some funny stuff because we had a nice little conversation. Not a problem, right? And they both head towards the door. And the second officer that was not talking to me, she walks out. I'm going to bring the car right back around. The first officer who was talking to me walks back over to me. She, she, you could tell she was just trying to start, restart the conversation awkwardly. And then she handed me a slip of paper. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I didn't drop anything. And then she walks away and she walks away and she looks back at me and she smiles. And then she winks and she goes, hee, 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 And I look down and it's her name and her phone number. Oh, damn. Yeah. Beautiful lady. You're damn right. Did not expect that. Didn't even think about it. But now I'm sitting there holding her number. And that woman is yum. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're damn right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Right. She leaves. And I'm going, oh, I'm going to call this woman. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, you dag on right. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mm, yummy. Right. And I put my, the phone number in my pocket and I'm already contemplating going out with her looking all delicious. She looks even great. She's sitting there with a uniform on. She's got the, 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 the bulletproof vest on. She's got the eye on the sunglasses on. She's got the hat on looking all tough. And I, I, I'm thinking you're damn right. I hope you bring that over. I hope you have your, but is there, I'm wondering if you could wear that when I'm at your house so I can watch you take it off before all of a sudden I give you the good S. Anthony Thomas business. I'm about to give you that good business, officer. Officer, I'm going to give you the business. I'm about to write you a ticket. Yeah, the penalty is love. <laughs> God, that's corny. Anyway, she walks out. A couple of minutes goes by and her partner walks back into the place. I think nothing of it. She comes back in, grabs something from the magazine. Right. I'm still in a good mood from a friend because I now know there's a high probability that me and that beautiful officer sometime within the next couple of days. Boom, boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, da, boom, jiggy, jiggy. Or at least sometime within the next couple of weeks. Boom, boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, da, boom, jiggy, jiggy. Or at least sometime within a couple within the first month. Boom, boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, da, boom, jiggy, jiggy. But I'm going to be honest. I'm a charming man. It's it be boom, boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, da, boom, jiggy, jiggy. Almost immediately. You damn right. Don't hate. Congratulate. Shut up, punks. Back to the store. So her partner walks into the place and she's just as cute as a woman that I'm about to a boom boom jiggy jiggy boom da boom jiggy jiggy and by the way if you knew that means sex okay I think you figured it out <laughs> back to the story again and she goes up to the counter to pay for the thing she walks past me and she goes I heard it was it true what you said to my and she recounts some of the stuff that she overheard in the story and I go yeah that's true she asked me a couple of questions in a kind of a playful way I joke with her but I'm not flirting with her at all because her friend handed me her phone number and I'm contemplating giving her the good business and I'm telling her I'm going to give her the good business oh you're damn right oh yeah Woo! there's going to be a sign outside our house it's going to say men at men were Working. And why does it say men working? Because I'm double manly. You're damn right. F y'all back to the story. And she doesn't even, as it turns out, she doesn't know that a friend handed me her phone number. And she goes, oh, crap. I left my phone on the car. Can I borrow your phone real quick? I'm like, oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. 
And she takes my phone. She walks over to the other side of the room. And I'm thinking maybe she's calling like to check on her kid or something. It's like, you know, I mean, you know, and then uh, I don't know how far away she's parked. Maybe she, she's like, oh, you know, you know, sometimes you just like, can I borrow your phone? Can I borrow your phone? I didn't think anything of it. And then she comes back to me, hands me the phone and I'm going, okay, is everything cool? She goes, everything's great. And then she smiles and walks out. And I'm thinking to you, oh, she's, she's, you know, she's a nice lady, right? And I'm trying not to look at her backside because I'm already contemplating me and her partner. Boom, boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, da boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, da boom, jiggy, jiggy. But she go, but now she's now she goes to the front thing, to the front door. She looks back at me. And she she nods her head as if to look at the phone. And I'm like, oh, I, mean, I know you gave me the phone, All right? Yeah. I look down at the phone and it, 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 her phone name and she had added her name and phone number number to the, the contacts li- lists then in the memo section she type make sure you call me dimples i'm like ah, i gotta call her dimples and then I, that's how stupid i was at the moment because i was completely shocked and i realized oh she was calling me dimples and i was like oh because i have deep dimples in my cheeks and i'm going ah and uh she walks out she smiles she gives me the wink and she walks out and the guys behind me are laughing they're like oh <laughs> Oh, they, both of them gave you phone numbers. You in trouble, man. <laughs> and I'm like, this is funny to you. And they're like, yeah, I, I, I was surprised. Well, I was, I was, I, when that first girl gave me the phone number, I was happy for, I was like, oh man, my man gonna get it. And then when the other hottie gave me the phone number, I'm like, oh, he gonna get it. All right. <laughs> and they were right. Oh, well, why does this happen? Right. I mean, in my wildest dreams, either one of them would have had to be their phone number. I didn't even ask for the phone number because I didn't think there was any possibility that either one of these two yummy, yummy, yummies would hand me their phone number, beautiful ladies. And I wasn't even looking and I was just kind of thinking about something I had to do later on in the day. I was the only guy in and I drooling all over him mainly because I was so preoccupied with what I was going to do. And maybe that turned them on that they're both so good looking that I was the only guy in there that wasn't look, trying like sneak looks at their butt and all that kind of crap, right? And under normal circumstances, when two really beautiful women back to back hand you your their phone number, one lady tricks you into getting a phone your phone and puts her phone number in your phone, adds us up to the contacts list and says, "Give me a call, Dimples." Normally, that is a fantastic thing, and you're thinking, "Yes, you pump your fist." Yeah, two hot women want some of this thick chocolate. You're damn right. I ain't even in shape yet, and they want some of this. Wait for about eight months from now when I got my six pack and triple pack and quadruple pack and all of that crap then they're really gonna want some of the business but the fact that they want my business when I'm in the transition of being from a really fat guy to a kind of fat guy now to soon a fit guy and they still want this business you're damn right and I'm about to turn 51 and both of these bays want the business from big s you're damn right but I couldn't feel that way I couldn't think that way why because two ladies who are working in the same car, who are walking around with guns, both want me to get it on with them and their partners and friends. And individually, they gave me their phone numbers. And now I can't touch either one of them. Because if I, I mean, just think about this. If I go out and I go out with the first one and I give her the business, what do you think she's going to say to her friends who's in the car? And I said, I went out with, remember that guy, the cute little guy from the, cause they were both taller than me. They were both like six, one was like six feet tall and the other was like five, eleven. I'm only five, eight. What do you remember that cute little guy that was at the, uh, that was at the, the donut shop? I went out with him and then, and we did, and then he, boom, 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 and then we boom, boom, jiggity, boom, boom, jiggity. He really gave, he really gave me that good business. And she was like, oh, fool, he gave you the business, huh? Well, I gave him my phone number. So he would give me the business. Oh, so you gonna try to steal my cake? I'm gonna take, you ain't, I can't. and I don't need that crap because either they get mad at each other. And then, uh, you know what happens next. They individually get mad at me and I don't need that crap. Oh, hell no. Turn the triumphant mind. I, I'm just thinking about what would have happened if after I got the first officer's phone number, if something happened and I just, you know, I said, you know what? I, I, I'll be back. And maybe I left and then the other lady wouldn't have been around. And then I could have went to with the first lady and given her that good deep business and everything would have been great because the other lady would have never had an opportunity to put her name into my phone. Oh, it sucks. It's like, oh, I can't do anything with either one of you now. I can't touch either one of you now. I also can't go back to that damn place anymore. Oh, and I was so close to 
doom boom jiggy de boom the boom jiggy jiggy the first one right and i had opportunity to boom boom jiggy de boom the boom jiggy jiggy the other one and i really then both of them i've wanted to boom boom jiggy the crap out of both of them but i can't boom boom either one of their jiggy jiggies oh i mean it's a great story to be able to tell i have witnesses they saw that they're never going to see me again because there's no way in hell I'm going back to that place. But, oh, it's been a weird week. Oh, right. And if someone was telling me this story, was telling the story to me, I would go. Oh, so two super hot women who happen to be police officers individually walked up to you and one wrote her name on a piece of paper, handed it to you and gave you the wink and basically, yeah. And the other one came back in after the other one left and put her, her, her phone number in your phone and said, give me a call, Dimples. You expect me to believe that? And I would go, yeah, right. Then they were, I would say, I would say to them, you expect me to believe that? And they would go, yeah. And I would go, get out of my face, punk. Ain't no two hot women who happen to be cops want to both bang you, loser. But two women who happened who were super cute who happened to be cops both wanted to bang me and now because i definitely like i said if i had met them individually i, I mean i wouldn't I, this this podcast would be, be i would have recorded this a day early and been at, you know, over there taking care of that good business but now business is closed then as i sit here thinking about it i realize how great it would have been Boom, boom, jiggy, jiggy, boom, the boom, jiggy, jiggy, and either one of them. Man, it would have been great. God, super hot woman. Makes my old thick ass is cute. Ain't got to worry about parking tickets anymore. Damn. Okay, I'm kind of bummed out now. Uh. <laughs> Oh, God, I don't even believe it myself. And I was there. Oh, God, I just want to I just want to have I just want to say a silence meditation. Dear universe, please take these two officers and give them new partners and then put them in different precincts that are far away. And please let me run into either one of them when they're by themselves. OK, maybe I don't want that because I, I did not call either one of them. And they're probably like, why did this guy not call? I'm super hot and he's a middle aged guy. and He's a little over. Well, not a little. He's, he's a, a, a kind of fat, overweight, middle aged guy. I mean, he's getting in better shape. They wouldn't say the part about me getting in better shape because they don't know that I lost weight. They would they would just know that where I was at the time. But <laughs> F y'all back to this. Uh, yeah, I couldn't even do anything with him because I mean, just think about it. It's like super hot woman gives you your phone number and you don't call. Uh, so either way I'm, I'm in trouble all i know is if i'm driving around that particular city i know that uh i'm going to drive at exactly the speed limit uh i will not make any illegal u-turns <laughs> just imagine like i better speed i gotta get i gotta cut through this town to get to the next place Woo! license and registration uh yeah well 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 how you doing? Oh, so this is what the S stands for. Mm -hmm. And this is your home address, huh? Fantastic. I'm going to go back to my car and pretend like I'm looking up your records. I don't really care whether your records are clean or not. You're getting a ticket no matter what. So um, I'm going to go. Uh, you, and you seem to be in a hurry. So I'm going to go back there and I'm going to uh, basically watch an entire movie on Netflix on my phone. I'm going to binge watch, binge watch a whole series and keep you here to make sure that you're late for whatever you're going to. And then I'm going to come back here and give you a huge ticket. Right. Oh, by the way, I'm going to walk back to the car. I know you're going to look at my butt in the rearview mirror. I want you to look in the rearview mirror. What you could have had complete access to anytime you wanted to, because I thought you were really cute. You could be enjoying this delicious buttocks and uh, the hell with you. <laughs> OK, I'm sure they would have been professional no matter what. And I'm sure that, that neither one of them would be unprofessional and do anything bad to me. But uh, there's still that thing in the back of my mind that scares the crap out of me. Right. Oh. Uh... I feel like a guy that, you know, that's, that shot or sh that had an opportunity to take a shot with one second left on a clock that when the 
the NBA championship or I'm all alone in the end zone and I got my hands on the football and oh, the basketball shot plunk clunk and falls out and you didn't win the game. Oh, he made the catch. No, one of his feet was out. Oh, and his team loses because I was so close. Either one of them would have made me ridiculously happy. I'm telling you, I would have been a happy man with either one of those beauties and now nothing. Oh, it's like that old ABC, the agony of defeat when they had the old wide world of sports and then we go, the thrill of victory. They'd show a person on this winning and standing on the podium holding up the gold medal and cheer it. And then they, the agony of defeat and they showed this guy skiing and falling and busting his ass. <sighs> well, in this particular case, I'm the guy that fell and bust his ass. Damn. All right, folks, that has been this episode of the S. Anthony Says Podcast. It maybe have been entertaining to you, but it's quite depressing for me. Damn. Oh, I, I forget. I, I'm, let's just talk about where this podcast is. This podcast is going to be six years old in October. Thank you for listening to me all this time, you weird bastards. <laughs> this and I, I would I would rattle off the places where this podcast is, but basically, if there's something that plays podcasts, this podcast is on it. Uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh, TuneIn Radio, it's everywhere. You know that you're listening to it, and if you're new, that means you haven't subscribed yet because you had to listen to the show first before you decide to subscribe. I know you didn't go, hey, here's a person, here's something I'm going to try first. I'm going to subscribe first. No, you didn't, but now that you listened, of course you love it. <laughs> yes, you do, you bastards. Subscribe to this podcast. Tell a friend. The more the merrier. And if you like this podcast, I also have another podcast called the S. Anthony Thomas Show, which is on Anchor. And so give that a try too and subscribe to that as well, my friends. Um, basically I'm on, I've been online so long. I've been doing these podcasts so long that I'm ridiculously easy to find. I could rattle off what the websites are, but basically look, go to Google, type in S. Anthony Thomas. That's where all my stuff is. I've been around a long time, as a lot of you know. And there's something else I need you guys to know. I got much love to all of you because I appreciate you listening, you weird bastards. And I will see you again next time. So now I'm going to say goodbye the way I always say goodbye. And I want you to do it with me. Are you going to do it with me? Of course you are. We're going to do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Of course you are. One, two, three. S. Anthony. Out. while up in here.